take it over you got my soul nobody gonna tell me different you Check your moon rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You guys, keep in mind, the energies are fluid, so it can go vice versa. Don't get hung up when the signs are genders, okay? Welcome to the channel. Um, if you're new, I have some gifts for you. I have gifts for everybody, but um, mainly for my new subscribers or my new viewers. Um, if you want to take advantage of it, please stay tuned, okay? Um, you're going to get two free personal readings, okay? So watch the video. Um... I will mention it during the video at some point on how to get out access, all access to two free personal readings. There is no credit card required for these personal readings. They're very long. Um, they're videos all about you. All you do is enter your birthday at these websites. And um, yeah, I know the rest is here history. Um, so stay tuned, you guys. And um, if you're trying to book, with, book a reading with me, um, you can go to leosunpiscesmoon.business.site to do that, okay? That is a personal reading with me, personally, that you could do um, if you would like to book a reading, okay? Um, you need to message me there, okay, for availability. As I am backed up, of course, it is the holiday season. So, um, you guys, let's jump into your reading. Let's see what's going on. Aries, the energy is so strong. Hold on one second. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, I had to like, <laughs> I just, okay, really, all right, um, Aries, I got, okay, a few messages for you, one I actually heard specifically for your person, um, from you, okay, uh, two, I heard two can play that game, all right, from you, um, now, the downloaded message I got for you overall, just to do the energy, um, and I heard it was ancestral, and I, I'm getting like you already know, and you got this in the bag. It's in the bag, Aries. It's in the bag, okay? Um, another message I got, I got three different messages for you, wow. Um, <clears throat> from your person, if you're dealing with someone that is a twin flame, I heard that Drake song, okay, and I know his North Node is in Aries, which is interesting because that's my North Node as well. I know that's also Tesla's North Node. Who else? There's so many. There's just so many. I can't remember all of them. Um, I know Zac Efron, his is in the North Node. His is in Aries, okay? But I, kept, I keep hearing, hold on, baby, we're going home. Okay, and I heard, um, no, you've been hurt by someone else. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces or a water sign. Specifically, I'm hearing a Scorpio for some of you. Um, maybe the Scorpio hurt you. There's a Pisces trying to heal you. This could be an ex, you guys. I don't know if it's the Scorpio that's the ex or the Pisces. But it feels very sultry. It feels very like somebody loves you unconditionally. Like you could have children with this person. I can tell by the way you carry yourself. If you let me, here's what I do. I'll take care of you. Wheel of Fortune. All right, you're dealing with a fixed sign, maybe an Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. All right, that's the first card out at the bottom of the deck here. I, I never get intuitively drawn to pull it, but they told me to. So, um, oh my God, what the hell did I tell y'all? We got judgment, Scorpio, okay? I'm telling you, I'm going to start doing my ratings like that <laughs> because, man, it's crazy. Yes, this person's hiding their feelings for you. Oh, I just, okay. Again, two can play that game is what I'm hearing. Somebody's going to come out and tell you the truth, all right? This person is a high priestess. They could have... Um, Oh, man, I'm hearing they left you hanging, Aries. 
This person is going to come in with a gift. This is your this is your fortune. This is your karma. Okay, this is your gift. It's from a Pisces. They're saying it's from a Scorpio or a Pisces. Oh my God, you guys! I told you I cannot make this shit up. We got both energy mirroring Pisces and Scorpio, and I told you guys. I'm, I'm about to go off right now. And then we got the Eight of Swords. Mirroring the Seven of Swords. <sighs> Player energy. Then the Magician. Somebody hurt you. Aries. The Magician is mirroring the Wheel of Fortune. Okay? That is your energy. This is the number one. This is also Mercurial energy. Virgo and Gemini. Okay? Holy shit. I am getting some sort of compensation. From a person specifically or the divine is going to gift you this. This is like some sort of karmic debt that you've sort of worked off. You're going to get it, okay? I'm getting tenfold. It is your, it's like your, with the judgment card, it is your fate. It is your purpose. It is your birthright. You have the empress in reverse here. I'm hearing with the position, oh, it's in the position of how someone sees you. You, I'm even hearing for some of you, and my condolences to anyone who's already gone, going through this or has gone through this, I'm hearing someone went through a miscarriage, maybe you or the person you're dealing with, but I'm, oh my God, I'm hearing somebody wants to console whoever this is or you, okay? I'm, I keep hearing the song by Drake, if you let me, with Rihanna, an Aries, a Pisces, and I keep hearing Scorpio. Maybe a Scorpio hurt you or a Pisces freaking hurt you. I know there's a Scorpio involved because we have the Eight of Swords, okay? Then we have the Judgment, the Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the Eight of Wands. The number eight is highly, um, it's, it's, it's here very strong, okay? We have the Eight of Swords too. Somebody is in like sort of agony. They're in agony over this connection. They're crying with the Five of Cups. They're, it's mirroring the five of, the Eight of Swords. And then the Seven of Swords is a deception energy around you. It's like somebody wants to come out and tell you something. But they want to make it up to you, Aries. This could be an ex-lover ex of yours. Ex-wife, ex-husband. Um, this is definitely a feminine energy with the, with the Empress and the um, King of Cups. This is a, someone who's healed. I'm hearing they're healing. They, have, um, they may have been an alcoholic at some point is what I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm hearing that with the King of Cups and the Empress in Reverse. But I'm hearing somebody could have been an alcoholic with the Judgment card. Um, it is their fate. They've gone through whatever it is that they've gone through in order to be, become the best version of themselves. To guide you. To help and to assist you. To bring justice. Or not just justice. But bring some sort of balance is what I'm hearing with the High Priestess and the Empress. Um... I get a lot of Venusian energy as well, Libra and Taurus energy. So this person could be a water sign with Taurus highly aspected in their chart or or they could be a Taurus, Libra with Scorpio or Pisces highly aspected in their chart. I'm also getting Virgo, Gemini, okay? Um, Aries, I'm getting for a lot of you, this person's changed you like in a way that... I don't want to say that. They're, gonna, they're telling me to say this, but I feel like you don't want to hear that mushy shit. Like, Aries, you just, I don't get you as the mushy type. Like, I don't take you guys for the mushy type, the mushy and the lovey dovey type, but somebody, I feel like you, they made you like a butterball. I'm hearing someone has kind of shifted you, made you feel soft a little. You used to be a hard, oh my God. I don't know, I heard that song, Damn, It's Good to Be a Gangster. I don't know who the fuck sings that. Uh, like, I feel like somebody's going back to their old ways. I don't know. I'm hearing this, but, um, don't let whoever this is make you feel like you should, you should go out and be, I don't know, sleeping around with the eight of wands in reverse and the knight of wands. It feels like someone is trying to, they may not have done this on purpose. I don't want to say trying to, because this is like an accident I'm hearing. There was someone that hurt you, babe, okay? And and I feel like, again, that song is popping in my head. If you let me, here's what I'll do. Like, you're so cold right now, Aries. Or this is you and the person you're dealing with is cold and you're trying to love them. You're trying to, like, it's like I don't know. I'm getting, like, soften their edges, okay? Like, someone is, like, I'm seeing, like, a file, like a nail file. And it's, like, you know how when people go get their nails done? I'm seeing someone filing the edges of something very sharp and it's, like, you are those edges, Aries. You are those edges, okay? Either this is you or the person you're dealing with. Somebody is trying to numb somebody's pain or heal it from someone else who caused this pain. 
because they see you or they you see this person being self-destructive is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> yeah. This already happened. They're telling me this already happened. And a lot of you guys, I am getting some sort of compensation coming in for um, something that was detrimental, very um, heartbreaking. Somebody here maybe lost a baby. I'm getting for some of you. Um, you had a miscarriage or your person did. Um, there's nothing in the world that can make up for that. But I am getting some sort of healing around this. Um, a healing around the womb. If it's the mother, if it's a mother energy that needs healed, it's not necessarily a miscarriage. It could be that somebody's dealing with a twin flame with the Wheel of Fortune, the Judgment card, the Ace of Pentacles, okay, and the Magician and the Empress. I am getting a twin flame, you guys. Um, they're trying to come through. They're trying to they're trying to deliver messages to somebody here. I don't know who this is, but if there's something around the feminine, it could be your left side of your body that's really like hurting. There's something that needs to be healed around your mother. Okay, it might not have to do, be have to do with for those of you who's not resonating with, with resonating with the miscarriage. This has to do with the feminine energy around your mother, also tying to your twin flame. That part needs healed in order for you to come into union with someone who is your divine counterpart. Again, now that's the feminine side. If you're dealing with a masculine, this is your right side. Your right side is you might have it, like issues with your back on your right side or issues with your like back on the left side. It does it does have to do with the kundalini, okay? Um it has to do with kundalini, you guys. There is something about your chakras being um ignited, being um I heard contracted. Like contractions, I'm hearing contractions. Again, that's reminding me of like when somebody goes into birth, goes into um, labor. But this is telling me it's a twin flame, you guys. Like someone is being activated. So if you're having pain, like in your sh in your spine, you are being activated. Okay, if you're having pain on specifically the left side, there is something trying to heal your. Um, you are trying to. You need to heal your feminine side. You need to heal the feminine within you. Um, like, you'll know because you'll be acting out in your masculine. You'll be acting very, like, I don't know how to express. I don't know how to say this. Like, um, you'll know what it, what it is because for me, like, I've always been very masculine energy. Like, very, like, like kind of, like, the best way I can describe it is Mars. Like, the way Mars is, very combative. Um, whereas Venus is very, like, loving and very down to earth. I've always been in that Mars energy. And that's the masculine energy, right? That means I need to heal my feminine energy. And I've always had problems with my mother, which is so crazy because she was a Pisces and I'm a Pisces moon, which is the mother. Um, some of you, this could resonate in some form. You could have a moon in whatever sign your mother was, her sun sign. And, and you know, that's another way you could tell the synchronicities are crazy, man. When you're a twin flame, they line up perfectly with you, your twin, your mother, your father, all of the synchronicities, they line up. They're like little puzzle pieces. Somebody here needs to heal one of the, like the yin or the yang, okay? Depending on which part of you is broken, what part of you needs healed, um, you guys will know, okay? I just get that somebody is, is, is seeing you, Aries. This could be your twin flame or divine counterpart that understands. I am getting like someone who's crying at night with the five of cups. Um, like they, like they know they didn't lose you. Like I'm hearing too, like you know you didn't lose somebody. But it feels like you did. Um, that person has not left you. That is your twin. That is your counterpart. They're, they they never leave. They're, there's there's no separating you, okay? You are connected in the 5D forever and all eternity, okay? There is this energy of somebody who's healed you. And I don't know if you used to be a player. This could speak to many things with this Nine of Wands. It's in the obstacle position with the um, Eight of Wands in reverse. And it talks about, I am getting a lot of energy around moving backwards, um, going back to your old ways, I'm hearing, you guys, this person wants to come out and tell you the truth. I'm feeling like somebody's going to tell you something that's going to open your eyes and you're, it's going to make you realize that you don't need to go back to being who you used to be. Um, this, I feel like they're going to come in and try to save you from yourself. Weird. I know that's so weird, but ultimately like save you from them, which is so weird because you're one, like you guys are the same person and the same soul. Like this person knows you're about to do something. You're about to make a mistake or something like that, Aries, or this is you. You're a gift to this person, Aries. They know that. I feel like they hurt you on purpose. 
okay, for some of you. Um, others of you, there's an individual who hurt you and someone is coming in. I am getting specifically an earth sign or a Libra, your opposite, who's coming in to heal this situation. They're telling me a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus is coming in um, to tell you to not go, to tell you don't do it or something like that. I'm hearing like Aries, don't do it. Look at all the look at look at all the look at what you've done. I'm hearing look at what you've done, Aries. This person's very intuitive, like they can feel you, like they know you're very um they know you're prone to make decisions like just without thinking, Aries. Like maybe some of you guys are very quick to like just do whatever the hell you want to do, which does sound like Aries, okay? Like stereotypically that's Aries energy. Fly off the handle, you guys are the first ones out, right? You're the first ones of the zodiac, so it makes sense. Like, there's someone who's gonna come in and try to like stop you because they know your personality. This person loves you, Aries. Um, but they haven't been there for you. So you're gonna be really like, I am getting there's a lot of pessimism around this person. They haven't quite been there. If whether this be a friend or your um this could be even a karmic for some of you who genuinely just doesn't want to see you get hurt. Because I feel like this person loves you. In some way, you know, yes, the comments are the comments are capable of love, but I am getting like some counterpart, an ex, I am getting a friend, and in the love readings, you guys, love is love. Whether this is just a friend, whoever it is that cares for you, that's love, all right. But I genuinely feel like this person knows you better than you think, and they're just worried. Again, I keep hearing that song, Drake. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? And then no, he's a Scorpio, and then there's Pisces energy. Um, with Rihanna, that song, okay? I keep hearing it, and it feels like there's two people that, that might come in and fight over you is what I'm also hearing. Um, with the Empress in reverse, though, this is your opposite. This is how you're being seen. And I'm going to say, I'm actually going to read that because this is how you're being seen with the Five of Cups, like you are mourning or you're mourning some sort of loss, okay? And I don't typically like to read the Empress in reverse, but it's talking about dependence, it's talking about attachment, it's also talking about codependency. Um, you know, the um, Empress, it's funny because that's my North Node. My North Node is Aries. Libra is the opposite. Aries is the leader, right? Empress is more of the backseat, right? Um, this is talking about lack of harmony. This is talking about... Um, somebody trying to juggle a lot of things at one time and they're losing their footing okay the empress in reverse is someone who embodies all four kings all four queens who has it all i am getting you are at the top right now aries and it's just really hard for you to sustain or really hard for you to keep keep your composure in something i am getting like something around your success for some of you this is the loss of a partner okay whether they have passed on or um they just walked away because we're the Nine of Wands here. Somebody could have been a player. I am just getting there's someone here who's battling a lot of things at one time. And then I'm hearing you're stretching yourself way too thin, Aries. Um, Aries, you're like a ticking time bomb. So be mindful. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm hearing you guys need to take a break. Love yourself. Fill yourself up so that you have enough to give to others without depleting your resources, Aries. Okay? Um... I just gotta say that like lack of energy and uh creative blocks leave you feeling uninspired and like sort of um like sort of monotonous like um i don't know i am getting a lot of uninspired energy as well like some of you guys not pessimism just like you've overextended yourself and you're not getting anything back is what i'm also hearing so take time out for yourself all right you guys please ground yourself back to the loving energy um, of Mother Earth with compassion. Move yourself back into the energy of love. You know, with the Empress here, she is Venus energy. That is your opposite. I don't know what who needs to hear that, but you are, you've gone to the dark side, okay? Somebody knows this. It's gonna be like your twin flame who's like, fuck, I wanna just, I just wanna love you, babe. I just wanna love you, babe. <laughs> I just wanna love you and tell you who I am. I got all this cash. Forget your man. <laughs> oh my God, who sings that? Shake your ass. Watch yourself. <laughs> who the fuck is that? Why do I not remember who that is? Show me what you're working with. Shake your ass. Watch yourself. Who sings that? 
Oh my god, that sucks. I, I hate when I don't remember that. Like old old song. It's not really that old, but I got all this cash to forget you, man. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Why did this shit pop into my fucking head? Yo, okay, I'm gonna continue with the reading. Um we are 19 minutes in. I'm going to pull an oracle message. Just so you guys know, with the Wheel of Fortune coming out first, it does tell me that it does speak that you are you are sort of attracting in abundance. This is Jupiter energy. I like that it came out. We are moving into 2022. Jupiter is going to be in the sign of Pisces, which is here in your reading here, okay? Um, which is a really auspicious time because, you know, that's its natural rulership. Pisces is a very abundant energy, especially, you know, Pisces is the end of the zodiac, you being the beginning. Jupiter showing up first. There's a lot of energy of abundance coming out for all the signs in 2022 as Jupiter will be in Pisces most of the year. So you guys, it's going to be a very fruitful time. If you're in that energy of feeling lack, get ready. The energy is going to shift. Okay, you guys, if you made it this far, um, take advantage of your free personal readings down below. They are the first two links. Yes, they're free, babe. They're free. Okay. Um, and if you want to continue watching, um, I'm going to pull an oracle message for you guys. Okay. One oracle for my Aries. You know, oh, perfume of Sophia. We've gotten this quite a few times. It's actually a really beautiful card, so I hope you're still here. Perfume of Sophia. Okay, hold on. All right, Aries. So we have perfume of Sophia. A really beautiful card to get for you. Especially with the Wheel of Fortune showing up first in your reading. I like that because it's the energy that's coming towards you. Also, the energy you're embodying, which is very lucky is what I'm hearing, right? Very lucky. I am getting very karmic. Something around your destiny. I love this so much for myself included. You know, I consider myself an Aries that I have. Jer Aries and Jupiter. Aries in my North Node. So, also with you guys, I want to say this. Wherever you do have your Jupiter... Please go check it out. Please go read about the house that you have Jupiter in because that's the house of blessings. Whatever house it's in, like for me, Aries Jupiter, that's the first house. So I will be expanding during 2022, most likely, areas of my life that involve myself, my personality, um, the way I'm seen, or just yourself, right? Depending on what, where you have Jupiter. Go look in your chart, okay, you guys, and and really study that house, study that um that placement, okay. And you, I, I promise you guys, um, next year when you focus on it, when you realize by the middle of the year, I think you'll realize you'll be like, damn, a lot of the area, a lot of this area of my life has really expanded. You'll understand, you'll get it more how much astrology means and how much it's um really resonating for you and also why it's worth looking into more and more as you go you'll see more and more reason to look into your astrology chart if you're not already into that um but yes look at the houses also anywhere else you have jupiter it's very important like i have jupiter in my 12th house which is also in my north node so a lot of expansion um in those houses you guys and the number 12 is here for those of you um who have pisces anywhere in your chart okay pisces is very specific it's going to be in Pisces, all um, in and out of Pisces, a lot of 2022, okay? You guys, I don't know why I had so much trouble getting that out. Forgive me, you guys. Forgive me. Um, anyways, this card is telling you, you will be able to sense the best timing and approach to take. You guys do have the High Priestess here. I love this energy, you guys. Um, to create space for healing, resolution, connect to your body, and ground yourself in the here and now, Aries. Body-friendly practices, okay? You will find your way intuitively and instinctively, even though, I'm sorry, even through confusing circumstances, where one moment you share, I'm sorry, you are sure the answer is no, and the next moment you are sure it is yes. Give up trying to figure it out, okay? The answer, please don't try to figure it out, you guys, okay? Just be open to receiving whatever the earth, whatever the Gaia, whatever source has, okay? Because you are going to get whatever it is that you want, Okay, subconsciously, whatever's in your mind, you're going to get that regardless. Also, you're, you're, you want what your soul wants. Your soul wants 
You're, you're, what, what you want wants you, okay? So you will get it. It's just about putting it out of your mind that you haven't got it yet. You understand that? That's the key is not thinking, I want it. Thou shall not want. Just think, I already have it. It's already mine. And then let it go. Just forget about it. It's mine. It's mine. Just think that whatever the situation is um, that you guys are going through, if this is involving a person that you love dearly, who, um, I don't know, put a hurting on you, okay? Don't let that, don't let that alter you. If it's some sort of traumatic event, use that shit, Aries. You got, magi you got the magician here. Um, alchemy is so important when it comes to pain, traumatic events that take place in your lives. Very important to take it and birth it into something beautiful, um, like the lotus flower grows through mud. You must take all situations, uncomfortable, unruly, and transform them. You have that energy very strong here as well. The number eight is very significant in your life. You have those um, that number eight and the Wheel of Fortune, which involves Scorpio. So a lot of eighth house energy. You might even have a Jupiter in Scorpio. For some of you, that's a money sign. Okay, or Taurus, if you have, if you have Jupiter in Taurus or Jupiter in um, Capricorn, Jupiter in Scorpio, I feel very strong. You guys are going to see a lot of abundance in terms of your, your career or um, investments from other people. It does have to do with wealth. It does have to do with money. If that's what you've been wanting, it's coming in for you. But again, going back to this, take whatever it is that's put you through hell and turn it into something beautiful. And I know a couple people right now like that have been going through so much shit, okay? Like with this pandemic and everything, I don't even know how to, like I don't even know where to begin. Like there's people sleeping in their fucking cars right now, okay? Inflation, with inflation, everything that's going on, people are sleeping in their fucking cars. Kids aren't in school. It's crazy. The famine, the famine is coming. I know y'all can feel it. I know. Can you feel it? I can feel it too. The famine is coming. And a lot of people are not prepared. But next year, there will be a lot of op opportunities um, for you, Aries. I feel very strong. You are going to be highly favored next year. Okay? I feel like a lot of the... Um, all of the signs will be favored in some aspect, but they need to take the initiative. You know what I'm saying? And Aries, no way in hell are you going to pass it up because you are all about initiative. Cardinals are all about initiative, so there's no way in hell you're going to pass up opportunities um, that are there for your benefit. You understand that? Especially you being first house, you're all about getting, gaining, getting further, right? Not that you guys are narcissistic or anything like that, because, you I mean, we all are. I'm saying you need to look out for number one, okay, Aries, seriously, because you're going to have opportunities coming in. Um, I feel too also so much abundance come into your life that you're going to forget that you were ever wounded. So girl, I forgot about all the people that did me wrong. Shit. Like what? Who? I'm sorry. Who? <laughs> you remember so-and-so? I'm sorry. Who? That's what, that's me. That's me. Aries, I love you guys. Keep that head on your shoulders just the way it's always been. I love you. Keep going, going forward, transitioning into the next phase without any, any apologies. Just keep being yourself. You guys, I know I'm so out of touch right now. It's just because I'm trying to get new, used to this environment. Um, you know, I've been crazy mom running around with my chicken, like a chicken with my head cut off. So I'm trying to keep my head on straight and focus on the readings again. But um, I appreciate y'all bearing with me and staying with me this long and rocking with me if you've been here from day one. I love you guys so much. Um... You guys have a wonderful 2020. Again, if you guys are trying to get your free personal readings, that is the first two links down below. There are several others down there, okay? Um, and if you're trying to book a reading with me, you'll need to message me directly um, through my email on my website. That's the third link in the description below. Um, and also, uh, all my websites are there too. Like if you guys are trying to get any other free readings, there's tons of others down there. I just can't go through them all right now because there's just too many. All right. I love you guys so much. Um, again, those are all free. All of them. I love you guys so much. Yeah, all of them. Not just the first two. There's so many. All right. I love you guys. Um, have a wonderful weekend. Happy New Year. Namaste.